y'all welcome back to my channel today i thought it would be fun to do a little trader joe's favorites video y'all know that i love trader joe's and a lot of y'all love when i do my trader joe's hauls and things like that so today i'm just going to share some of my favorite trader joe's staples and things that i get every time i go to trader joe's and i hope that y'all get some recipe ideas or just some grocery items that you want to try from trader joe's i'm just going to grab a jacket really quick because we know i'm always cold in there and then we're going to head on over to trader joe's Okay, so here's all the stuff that I got from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna try to go through this stuff pretty quick because I've got a lot of frozen stuff and some stuff that I need to throw in the fridge. This is not a favorite. I just saw this on someone's Trader Joe's favorites video and I picked it up. It is organic sparkling lemon and strawberry apple cider vinegar beverage. Let's give it a little taste test. That's actually really good. I've been liking the like little Celsius energy drinks and things like that. I don't know. I'm, I've been into it lately and I like kombucha. So this is kind of like a kombucha in a little can. Okay, so I'm going to start with some of my favorite fresh things from Trader Joe's. First, I know I've talked about this many times, but I love this chicken salad from Trader Joe's. This is definitely my favorite store-bought chicken salad that I've ever had. I do like to make homemade chicken salad, but this is just as good it's chicken salad with white chicken celery carrots and green onions so i like to eat this with wheat thins and it is just delicious and just super easy lunch next a couple of things that i've definitely talked about before i love these trader joe's salads i've tried lots of the salads at trader joe's and these are my two favorites this one is the broccoli slaw and kale salad with white chicken meat it's super flavorful and i love the spicy dressing that it comes with and then my favorite salad from trader joe's is the chicken caesar salad this one is just the best they also have a regular caesar salad with no chicken and this one is just way better i like to have chicken in there but also the dressing on this one is different and this one's just a lot better. You just can't beat the convenience of these little pre-made salads. I love them. My next favorite is these Trader Joe's shaved Brussels sprouts. Again, just love the convenience of this. Instead of buying whole Brussels sprouts and then taking them home, getting out the cutting board, having to cut up your Brussels sprouts before you cook them, this is just so much easier. I just throw these in my air fryer and then throw some olive oil on it, some seasoning, and then heat them up in the air fryer and they're delicious. I love me some crispy Brussels sprouts and these are perfect in the air fryer. Another little convenient item that I've definitely mentioned before, these are the organic sliced apples from Trader Joe's. I love that they come in a little resealable bag. This is just such an easy thing to just throw in my cooler and take on trips with me. Could I buy whole apples and slice them up and throw them in a Ziploc bag? Yes. Do I have time for that? Absolutely not. And they're also delicious apples. Another Trader Joe's favorite that you've probably heard of before is the Trader Joe's Everything But The Bagel Seasoning. I love this stuff. I always have some of this on hand. I've eaten this on chicken before. I use it on my salmon all the time. It's good on vegetables. It's just, if you haven't tried it, you need to try this stuff. Okay, I feel like the frozen section at Trader Joe's is hit or miss. I've tried a ton of their frozen stuff and there are things that I absolutely love and then things that I tried that I will never purchase again. But these are some of my favorite things that I've tried from the frozen section and I pretty much always have these things in my freezer. So first up we have the Trader Joe's chicken chow mein. This is super quick and easy to make and it is delicious. It's probably not the healthiest but it doesn't seem like it's bad for you either. And then next up we have the Trader Joe's vegetable fried rice and the Kung Pao chicken. So I like to make these two together. A lot of people like to do the veggie fried rice with the mandarin orange chicken from Trader Joe's and I'm not crazy about that one, but I think these two make a really good combo and the sauce on this one is really good. But if you wanted to do the Kung Pao chicken on its own, you totally could. I just like it with the rice. Okay, I'm back on my sweet potato gnocchi from Trader Joe's. I used to buy this stuff all the time and then I don't know what happened, but I stopped buying it for a while and now 
I'm back to having it in the freezer at all times. It's just so easy to cook this up and I love sweet potatoes, but in the gnocchi form, they're just so good. And these are also seasoned with butter and sage. These are great on their own, but I also started to make them with some spinach and chicken and it is delicious. This is the Trader Joe's frozen asparagus risotto. I got this once to try it out and I absolutely loved it. I've tried this one and the frozen mushroom risotto from Trader Joe's. I didn't like the mushroom one as much. It's the perfect side dish for like some salmon or chicken, really anything. It's just such an easy, delicious side dish. Okay, this is another super easy lunch or dinner and it's something that I always have in my freezer. It's just these mini pepperoni pizzas. I think these are just the perfect little size for me, especially when I'm just feeling lazy and don't really care to cook something healthy. This is just such an easy, quick dinner. I make these in the air fryer as well. Okay, another thing that I love getting from Trader Joe's is these little steaks. These are the Trader Joe's grass-fed organic top sirloin beef steaks. I think these are such a perfect little size and I found this recipe for cooking steaks in the air fryer. I'll link it down below, but that's what I do with these. I just throw these in the air fryer and put some seasonings on it and stuff and it makes the perfect steak. This is another thing that I pretty much always have on hand too. I'll buy some of these and then I'll just throw them in the freezer. Okay, last up is some sweet things that I love from Trader Joe's. I have a sweet tooth, no shame. I love these little mini hold the cone ice cream cones. It comes with eight mini ice cream cones filled with rich chocolate ice cream and chocolatey coating. I'm not gonna lie, if I'm gonna eat one of these, I'm probably gonna eat two of these. I usually don't just eat one because they are pretty small, they're about that size. But it is the perfect little after dinner treat. They're really good. The chocolate one is my favorite. I also love these dark chocolate pretzels. I love that they come in this little resealable bag. This is another really easy thing to just throw in my tote bag or my cooler, and it's just a nice little sweet snack. I also love these dark chocolate peanut butter cups. These are delicious. I love dark chocolate. I love Reese's. These are basically little dark chocolate mini Reese's. They have these in like bigger tubs that you can buy, but um, I found that that's a little bit dangerous because I will sit there and eat the entire tub. There's like, I don't know, 50 of these in there or something. So if I buy these, I'll get this little pack instead of the big one. And I also like that these are all individually packaged. So another really easy thing to travel with. And then last but not least, I feel like I've probably talked about these before. I love these dark chocolate almonds. These are dry roasted almonds drenched in dark chocolate and covered with sea salt and turbinado sugar. I love that these have a little bit of a sweet and salty combination. And the texture of these is just really interesting. They're not like hard chocolate. It's more of like a powdery kind of chocolate with the sea salt and these are just so good. Okay, so I think that is pretty much all of my Trader Joe's favorites. Let me know in the comments if you love any of these things from Trader Joe's or let me know if there's something from Trader Joe's that I should try. I hope you got some new recipe ideas or maybe just some new things that you might wanna try from Trader Joe's. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.